Take this billion dollar gift and be on my side or just drop dead. If you're a big shot in North Korea and dare to go against Kim Jong Un, you'll most likely hear this. Just like his old man and grandpa, Kim Jong Un knows how to play the game. He scares the pants off the North Korean elites while showering them with fancy presents. And let us tell you, the gifts are so expensive that saying no isn't even an option. So, want to know what they are? Then just make sure to hang tight as we show you how he buys support from the country's big shots. Let's go. Take this billion dollar gift or just drop dead. Over the years, North Korea has been increasingly isolated from the global economy because of heavy economic sanctions and financial restrictions imposed by the United States and the United Nations. In order to maintain loyalty among the country's elites, the Kim family employs a combination of fear tactics and gift-giving strategies. Back in 2013, Kim Jong Un totally blew everyone's minds by executing his uncle, Jang Song Teek, along with a bunch of other high-up political peeps. Supposedly, they were all trying to mess with his leadership. And he didn't stop there. In 2017, he also had his own half-brother killed at a Malaysian airport. But there have been times when Kim decided to play it differently and go for the elite's love for fancy stuff instead of messing with their lives. If you're blindly devoted to the Kim regime, you can expect some serious rewards like fancy apartments and luxury stuff. As an example, Ri Chun-hee, the super-famous state news anchor, is living proof of this loyalty for luxury arrangement. In a recent video, you can see Kim personally showing her around her swanky new pad while she's all smiles, holding onto his arm, and giving him big, thanks. It's a prime example of the special treatment these elites get. Kim once called Ri a national treasure. She's been the face of North Korean media for a whopping 40 years, dishing out all that fiery commentary. She covered everything from announcing the death of their founder, Kim Il-sung, back in 1994 to reporting on North Korea's first nuclear weapon test in 2006. Don't go ahead just yet. Let's take just a moment to sharply hit the subscribe button and then turn on notifications for our fancy channel to stay up to date with all the future content. Now, let's jump right into how the Kim family manages to bypass the sanctions. The US, EU, and UN have been throwing all sorts of economic stuff at North Korea, like sanctions and export controls, trying to stop luxury goods from getting in. But guess what? The Kim family is like sneaky ninjas. They've found ways to dodge these measures by taking advantage of loopholes in the supply chain and using shady trading networks. They're all about playing the system. There's this secret department in the North Korean government called Bureau or Office 39. Their mission? To secure a fat stack of foreign currency for the country's leaders. They go to great lengths to get funds and set up sneaky trade networks to bring in all those luxurious goodies for the Kim family and their loyal peeps. Office 39 is rumored to be involved in all kinds of shady money moves. They supposedly do stuff like making fake foreign cash, smuggling drugs, playing with international insurance funds, and all sorts of other illegal businesses. Plus, in 2019, some report from C4 ads spilled the beans on how North Korea got its hands on over 800 fancy cars illegally. They even scored two super expensive armored Mercedes Maybach S600 guard rides worth over half a million each. In the same year, NK News dropped some pics showing off this North Korean department store in Pyongyang. And guess what? It was stocked with all the high-end stuff from big-name brands like Chanel, Rolex, Mont Blanc, SK2, and Canon. It was like a luxury paradise right there in the heart of Pyongyang. When it comes to banning luxury goods worldwide, there's always room for corruption in those shady trading networks. So, it's pretty obvious that the Kim family will keep doing their thing. They'll rely on a mix of fear tactics and generous gift giving to make sure those elite folks stay loyal. That's just how they operate. Thanks for tuning in. If you think today's video was cool, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe and notification button and give us a big fancy like. We appreciate your support, and it keeps us going. Now, let's hear it from you, do you know any other dictators in the world? Leave your answers down below, and keep it chic.